Buick Grand Sport Stage 1 is as close as we've been to a supercar since 1971. Without a doubt, Buick Division is making an honest attempt to build better cars. And this one puts them in a class by themselves. Today's popularity of recycling, it came as no real surprise that Buick returned to the Century nameplate. There's a total of 25 new model Buicks to choose from, and nine of them fall in the intermediate or Century line. Our tester was the Grand Sport, and was hatched in Buick Engineering's muscle department. They promised us some excitement when we took delivery of the car, and much of it was caused by this 455 cubic inch high performance mill under the hood. Topped off with a four-barrel carburetor and a whole gang of exhaust emission control devices. Even though they hindered breathing, performance was good. In our bury the foot game, it felt strong. Buick Grand Sport Stage 1 is as close as we've been to a supercar since 1971. Without a doubt, Buick Division is making an honest attempt to build better cars. And this one puts them in a class by themselves. Today's popularity of recycling, it came as no real surprise that Buick returned to the Century nameplate. There's a total of 25 new model Buicks to choose from, and nine of them fall in the intermediate or Century line. Our tester was the Grand Sport, and was hatched in Buick Engineering's muscle department. They promised us some excitement when we took delivery of the car, and much of it was caused by this 455 cubic inch high performance mill under the hood. Topped off with a four-barrel carburetor and a whole gang of exhaust emission control devices. Even though they hindered breathing, performance was good. In our bury the foot game, it felt strong. 30 miles an hour came after only 3.2 seconds. This is as close to a supercar as anything we've had since breathing clean air became popular. 50 miles an hour happened 5.8 seconds after we left the line. Seventy miles an hour took 10.4 seconds, and she broke through the traps at the end of the quarter mile in 15.3. And out of today's showroom, that's good. For a long time, Buick brakes have been some of the best in the industry. They still are. This 30 mile an hour stop took 41 feet. Following. This forward spin proved the car to be very predictable. We've only tested a very few cars this year that we could push through the turns at high speed and stay on the track. This Grand Sport was one of them. While this 455 cubic inch only delivered 270 net horsepower, there was still enough wallop to drive it through the corners with the throttle. With the Grand Sport, Buick offers an excellent compromise between good handling and a smooth ride. This intermediate series shares many features with the big Buicks, such as a double panel roof construction, disc brakes, fiberglass underhood insulation, and AccuDrive that combines tailored suspension and steering geometries with engine mountings, suspension bushings, and body mountings specifically selected for each model. Buick officials told us that each part on every engine is checked to see if it works properly before it ever leaves the subassembly plant. Then each installed part is fed in a central computer during buildup. So before the engine is ever fired up, they know how well it'll run and how pure its exhaust will be. Remember, our test car is a grand sport with a heavy-duty suspension and greater power package. Other models in the Century line will not handle this well. In this stop action, the car was in a four-wheel drift, stayed flat and controllable through a very difficult reverse camber turn at over 75 miles per hour. 
there was a lot of talk about Buick's successes at the drag strips in 1972. This performance talk was carefully woven into the theme that computer checking and quality control not only produce good, clean engines, but good, clean racers. This is not an old man's car, and it might be that the GS Stage 1 is Phase 1 in a program to alter Buick's entire image.